What's your greatest most satisfying if I'm called it moment? Kept finding small cut up straws in my grandma's bathroom. So many straws. I let my grandmother know that someone is using her bathroom to use drugs. She freaks out saying I'm accusing her of using drugs and that it's impossible. A year later my uncle divorces his wife due to her cocaine addiction. Grandma says well K always stopped by in the afternoon to use the restroom and then she would clean my whole house and I just didn't think anything of it my favorite story at Thanksgiving. When I met my mom's husband's adult kids. After a few minutes of hanging out with them I followed my mom into the kitchen. Me. Three of his four kids are gay. Mop. No. Only one is. Me. No. Three are. Ten years later. One of his children is in a same-sex marriage and two of his kids are living with long-time same-sex partners. The first Avengers movie. My husband was wondering why the staff could stop the almighty Tesseract. I casually said. Maybe. They are both infinity stones. He said. Nah. The Tesseract is its own thing. Because he was more into the comics at the time. I shrugged it off. Since then. Every MacGuffin in the movies. Down to Thor's Dark World. I jokingly said. Infinity Stone to troll him. You can imagine how pissed he's been since Gordians. Dude at work had been complaining about his crazy girlfriend and her problems. Two weeks later he is talking about how she is pregnant. In my head I'm thinking. She is going to lose the baby because it isn't real. Sure enough. He comes in all sad about just over two more weeks later saying she had a miscarriage. Some time passed and he's complaining about her crazy antics again. Co-worker made a very unethical. Behind closed doors deal with another company. And he was an agency resource. Not even a full employee of my company. After months. I spoke up about something being fishy. And concerns of pre-committing purchasing. Etc. My apathetic boss ignores me. All while co-worker secures a job at the other company to work on the project that he set up with my company. Fast forward a year later. Now they are citing that project as a pre-commit for service. Wisdom never tasted so sad. Found out my now ex-husband was sleeping with a co-worker. So naturally we divorce. But still have to keep in contact because we have a daughter. Well her fiancé finds out and leaves her as well. Now she is a decade older than me and had mentioned that she and her ex-fiancé had been trying for a baby for a long time. But never conceived. He continued to see her and eventually she moved on with him. He didn't want any more kids. I told him to be careful because I suspected she was only with him to have a baby. Fast forward a year and she's pregnant. He comes to terms with it after being slightly upset. Fast forward a year after their baby was born and she breaks up with him. Shocker following a car with its left turn signal on for two miles. The driver kept slowing at side streets as if to make a left turn. But didn't actually turn. I looked over at my daughter and said watch. They'll make a right turn. If I pulled it. Yes. They were still signaling left when they made the right turn. Obviously not the most satisfying. But watching family feud and correctly calling the last answer makes me feel accomplished. Probably not the only one but I was watching 7 for the first time and my mom was eagerly watching me as I reacted to the movie. She lost her sh when I said. Is that Kevin Spacey? During the phone call scene. She couldn't believe I recognized his voice and figured out who it was before the big reveal. I'm obviously not the only one to have guessed but it was satisfying watching her reaction. My wife was watching some TV show. I happened to walk in during some scene in which it was raining out. And a guy and a gal were looking at each other through their car windows as their kid went from one car to the other. I said here comes the scene where they make up without knowing any of the background of the show. My wife started telling me that it won't happen. They had had a failed relationship years earlier, hence the kid, and the woman was with a great guy. Right after she said that, the woman got out and ran to the guy's car basically professing her love for him. I was on a second date and we were watching Criminal Minds at her apartment. I called that the killer would be an archaeologist. Who hadn't even been introduced yet. She was so blown away during the reveal at the end of the episode that I took a victory lap. 
As I rounded third I slipped where the carpet meets the hardwood and fell flat on my face. We've been married for over two years now. My mom and sister used to be obsessed with John and Kate plus 8 and I told them that they would end up getting divorced. When they announced the divorce my mom and sister were devastated but I couldn't help rubbing it in their faces. Friend of mine got into a relationship with this girl. He tells me that she cries every time he tries to end their chat. I immediately think to myself. This isn't gonna be good, she becomes incredibly controlling. To the point of our crew only hearing from him once every few weeks. I mentioned how utterly effed it was to him. But he refused to believe that there was something wrong. Claimed he could persuade her otherwise. Two years later. No sign of any of his progress. Was really sad to watch him slowly fade out of our lives in favor of her. When a penny stock I bought around $0.03 share blew up to over $3. My only regret is not buying a lot more shares. Edit, for those asking. Here's my take based on my very limited experience with penny stocks. You can usually buy penny stock through your typical broker. You must be particularly wary of penny stocks because they can be subject to the phenomenon of pump and dump, one or more people, likely those who have stake in whatever company is offering penny stock, hype it up and hope that people will buy. As the price creeps up, those stakeholders may decide to sell and thus reap the rewards. While those who naively assume going long is best will hold on to that stock with hopes that it'll blow up. The number of penny stock failures I've invested in far outnumbers the successes. Like I've bought hundreds of thousands of shares of stock less than $0.01 share and seen it basically become valueless as the stakeholders have presumably sold their stake before the per share price hits the toilet. It's extremely hit or miss. To say the least. About halfway through Splice. When Dren has sex with Adrian Brody. I said out loud to my friends she's gonna morph into a male and Ari his wife. My friends were justifiably weirded out when that actually happened. That my sister is gay. Growing up she'd develop what was very obviously, to me, a crush on different girls. In high school I finally said. Girl. Have you considered that these feelings you have for so and so might be romantic? She flipped the f out on me. We didn't talk for weeks. She'd date any guy that asked her out because she was supposed to like guys but never really felt anything for them. Finally in college she called me and went. Yeah. So anyway. You're right. I'm totally gay. We joke that it took her so long not because she was in denial. She just didn't want me to be right. When my brother and sister-in-law planned a trip home for Easter weekend I told my wife and parents that they were coming to announce their pregnancy. Everyone told me I was crazy and they'd just use the family chat for that. Hugh Easter lunch on Saturday and my cell refuses a glass of wine and everyone guesses she's pregnant. Called it. One of the old coaches from the Chicago Bears is Mark Trestman. I told everyone that he would not make it to the third year of his contact. He would get fired after the second season. I made a $500 bet with my dad because I was that damn sure. Soon as the news broke. I called him and told him I prefer cash over check. There used to be a show called Tales from the Dark Side. I was watching it with my brother. The episode started with a female hiker who was lost and was taken in by an old couple. About 5 minutes into the episode I said, the old people are going to cook and eat the young lady. Brother thought I was crazy. End of the episode was the young lady in the hot tube and the old people were bringing it up to boil and adding in vegetables and turning her into a soup. About a year after my father's death, my mother got together with a man. I felt as if something was off from the start and told her that he doesn't seem right and that he was going to do something stupid and hurt her emotionally. A year later they got engaged and they seemed happy. I've never seen my mother so happy since before my father died. Well as of yesterday. It came out that this man has been engaged to someone else since before my mother met him and that he has been sleeping with at least two other women on a regular basis. Wish I could tell her that I had fine called it but I'm afraid it will make her more upset, anyways. Now to build my revenge plan. Wish me luck.